Hey everybody, this is James L. Off Frags, and thanks for being here with me again today. We are going to talk about a fragrance that I like the name so much of that I just really wish that I loved the fragrance as much as I like the name. So stay tuned in just a second, I'm going to let you know what it is. So what we're going to talk about today is this little gem right here. And... This is Gentleman Savage. Let's see if I can get this the right way. And the name of this is called Toxic Masculinity. Wow. The name of this is called Toxic Masculinity. In today's day and age, with everybody's view on it, it ain't cool to be a man anymore. I want to stand up and say, yeah, it is. And masculinity is something that every man that's out there, no matter what, you should be proud to be because we can do things that a woman can't and a woman can do things that we were never meant to do. So there is a place for all of us. But with all of the social justice bullshit and everything else and, and you know the women's movement that I hear about, this one just tickled me when I saw it in a gift box from a viewer. And you know who you are. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I really dig this packaging. It's really simplistic. It's black and white. I like the straight razor and the brass knuckles that are on the front of the box. I think that's a really neat. And the bottle is pure minimalist. But it has something on this bottle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But it has laser engraved skull and crossbones on this little vial. Now this is... First of all, like I said, this is a gift. It was sent to me by a viewer. Thank you again. But this is a rollerball, and it's something that I'm really not a whole bunch familiar with using. You know, I will say the, the packaging for this guy is a wonderful statement about the fragrance. It says, think of the most manly scent you've ever smelled. Now, multiply that by times a thousand. We have captured the essence of the masculinity and put it in a bottle. And that ain't no joke, because this has got to be one of the most masculine, kind of rugged... Man, my dad would have loved this scent, kind of scent. An old school powerhouse. I mean, there is nothing... There is nothing sweet in this. There, This is kind of a dry scent. But it is exactly what it says, man. It is a... It is a super, uber duper masculine scent. Like, if I'm going somewhere and I want to make sure that somebody knows I got dangly bits, man, the smell of this will let you know a mile away that I am a dude and proud to be one. I think this is so cool. You know, in today's day and age where men have been demonized and looked down upon and kind of second-hand citizens in today's kind of culture, this really speaks to me. It brings me back to the days when I was a kid where my dad was my hero. I used to really enjoy watching John Wayne when I was a little kid. Like, this is what John Wayne would wear. John Wayne was on the set of a movie and he was making a western. This is the this is what he would have on. Reminds me of my childhood. Really really does. And I think a lot of those that era's values need to come back into play. So, with all that being said, this is kind of a walk down nostalgia street for me and then, you know, I really love the aesthetics of this bottle, the laser etched Jolly Roger that is on this is just a wonderful touch. It really speaks to me and, you know, my kind of aesthetics. So, with all that being said, I want you to remember, there is no bad time to smell good. This stuff smells uber masculine. And if you're into that kind of thing, this has got your name written all over it. I enjoy it. I can't see me wearing it all the time. This is like one of those special occasion kind of scents. Like, if I'm going to go camping... And I want to impress somebody, this is what I'm going to wear. Because like I said, when they said, think of the most masculine scent you can think of, and then times it by a thousand. They ain't kidding. This must, 
this bottle is growing muscles as we speak because it is masculine. So with all that being said, all the jokes and the rest of this stuff out of the way, I want to say thank you for spending some time with me here. Like I always say, it seems like I should always say this stuff at the beginning of the videos and I always forget. This is totally cool. Once more, I want to say thank you to the gentleman that sent this and some other stuff. Man, it made my day. And this is cool as hell. So if you guys see this out and about, I don't know if this would be an average wear for somebody. I know it's not for me, but I will wear it. Pick it up. It's interesting. It's new. It's unique. And it's very masculine. It's toxic masculinity, which I get a kick out of. So... If we can't have Boy Scouts anymore that are all Boy Scouts, at least we can have something like this. So this is James. I'm James. This is Outlaw Frags. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you on the next one. Till then, everybody take care.